All right, welcome everybody. 5D1 Gaming presents another unboxing just for you guys. So uh, we got our August boxes. Uh, we do know that, that, that this is a little late, but because people have vacations and our children get, our children get sick, this is what happens. We have to do recordings late because we are both fathers. He's handsome, I'm not, but don't worry about that. So uh, from here, uh, we can do the, uh, go ahead and slice it up and you ready to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. All right, cool. It's funny how you come across people who are like, you're opening the box wrong. Why are you opening it towards yourself? I'm like, yo, if I want to stab myself, let me stab myself. Like, leave me alone. I mean, if you feel so inclined, I'm not going to stop you, but I feel like maybe you shouldn't. Okay, so uh, I, th I think that we should just take them, take everything out, and then just put the box to the side. We can do that. Okay, I got big box, Ooh. a big bag, big box. a little bag, Contains. and little bag. Ooh. I got... Ooh. 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 There's a lot of ooze coming over there. Yep. I dig it. Okay, so just to start off, um, the uh, this is August, boom. Uh, 2019, and my total retail retail value is $51.95. Considering the fact that I spent $35, I'm pretty happy with that already. 51.19. Nice. nice. So we're actually pretty close. Pretty even. Um, you want to start small? I will start small. All right, you start small. I have a paintbrush. Ooh, it's small. Uh, it's a precise detail brush. I can use another one of those. I've been wearing mine out recently. Is it different than the one that you got the, um, from? It's a bit bigger. Okay. Yep, it's fine. I like that, I need another one. Sweet. His, uh, his painting skills are pretty on point. <clears throat> so, uh, I have a little bag, and I'll just dump these all out. All right, so I'm gonna go little by little, because there's a big one there. I'm gonna put that on the side. Uh, I have a ghoul. He's got like a skull in his hand. Um, looks like his tongue is hanging out. So definitely uh, nicely painted. It's got like this blue hue to it, like a like a deep blue. And of course, he's got like this this pretty kick-ass loincloth that's like hanging down. So it gives it a little bit. I think he's kind of like looking to the side, but he actually looks like he's going to be bowling. I mean, he looks like he's bowling with the skull. He does. He's ready to throw a strike. <laughs> so, that's one down. You're up! Temple of Elemental Evil Noel Archer. My paints were matched for this unpainted mini. We will, of course, get photos as, uh, as appropriate. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good detail. The, yeah. uh, the, the bow appears to have been uh, kind of crushed by packaging, but that's an easy fix with hot water or a hair dryer. Big guy. Wow. Yeah, right? It's like a Noel boss. That's that's pretty cool. That'd be pretty kick-ass to see how it's when it's when it's all painted up. But it's not even like that damaged like from the no, packaging. That, that's that's an easy fix. Yeah, that's that's an, pretty easy. That's an easy fix. Cool. Uh, I'll go up. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, and I forgot to say the ghoul was seven of sixty-five. So it uh then we have, and that was, uh, the ghoul was from the Rune Lords singles, Pathfinder Battles. Now this one I have a thug. He's two of 44. Uh, he is from the Icons of the Realms Waterdeep, uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So that's cool. Ooh. But he looks, he looks like he could be a definite player character. You know, he's got this... Uh, large fighter, cleric, yeah. paladin. Yeah, it could be a mix of anything for that. Seems to fit those pretty well. Nicely detailed cloak on the back. I mean, it literally has the, the battle, like, not battle ravage, but, like, the the age mm -hmm. put onto there. Yeah, they did a good job with that. Yeah, so I think, I mean, that's definitely one that could be used for a player character and, uh, and a, a villain of any sort. I mean, it's a thug, so... He can even be a big bad if you want him to be a big bad for like low level, for like low level, like up to like level oh, yeah. five. Yeah, man, tier one boss. Yeah. Actually, 
what's 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 a thug like CR two or CR three anyway? So I think so. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty good fights for your first level encounter dungeons. Yeah. That's it, man. All right. My next one is another archer. It is the uh, Goblin Archer Minion. I might have gotten one of these before. Looks reasonably familiar, but uh, I like them. They have great detail. I'm looking forward to painting it. I've got a lot of Goblin flesh-colored paints. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, hell, I mean, if, you, if you're like, I'm a Goblin Archer, you know, as, a, as, a, as an actual, like... Player character? Sure. You can even be that. Goblin, crossbow, arcane trickster rogue. <laughs> so I have this other one. Now this one actually looks pretty kick-ass. Uh, it is uh, Shawanti Gladiator number 20 of 45 from the Lost Coast Pathfinder battles. So, I mean, he's... <laughs> He's got this this kick-ass Warhammer in one hand, and then like you look at his glove, and it's got spikes on it. And he's just like, I mean, he's he definitely would be a barbarian because of the little armor piece on his shoulder. If you were to play something similar to that as a barbarian, but I think it fits. Could also just fit for a fighter, or, yeah. or again, a low-tier bad guy. Yeah. It's a shame my guys are not low-tier anymore. Oh, level man. seven. Just to increase the CR, of this thing to like level ten. Oh and, yeah. Uh, you know, it could be it could be a dragon in disguise. It could be a giant toad in disguise. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 <laughs> and if you watched the last episode, you definitely know what we're talking about. <laughs> that, uh, so you're up. I have a 25 millimeter uh, miniature base. It is the Windfall base. You can use this to mount into the miniature too. Perhaps one of your player uh, characters or anything else you wanted to kit bash and salvage. Or it could just be scatter terrain for your your battle maps. Really? Never seen that before. I've got a couple of them. That looks... I mean, you could put some nasty detail on this. Oh, yeah. Wow. I never thought that I, I would see anything like that. That's cool. Uh, okay, so I haven't even opened up the big box yet, and this is already pretty kick-ass. Um, this one is a Slimy Fiend 19 of 55 from the uh, the Righteous Singles Pathfinder Battles. And this guy, I mean, he looks so cool. I mean, definitely, definitely can be a big bad at any tier, you know? I mean, he, he looks like a demon of some sort. He's got this huge, like, head of sort with this armor. He's got the, the bat-like wings, but there's, like, little holes in the bat-like wings. Like, this dude, this dude is painted dark. He's, you know, very muted colors. He looks pretty cool. And he could definitely be a big bad for, for any level, I think. I like it. Yeah. That's awesome. That is cool. Yeah. I mean, he's like fully armored too. Like he I mean, I think uh I think I'm going to be using that mini <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um use it to kill another one of Saudi's characters. Yeah, should. Uh if you want to go to your paints and all? I've got some paints. These paints were uh picked for the Noel Archer to to match that. So I've got some I've got some dragon red. I was actually really hoping I got some red in this kit cuz I have uh a mini at home I'm working on that could use some red. I've got some filthy suit. Some sort of... Is that like... Very barely greenish gray. Okay. And a uh, minotaur hide. A, a, a tan color. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad haul. I like them. So, uh... I guess we'll go to our uh, our 3D dungeon dressings. Yes. All right. Um, do you want to open up yours, or do you just want to like review them? Nah, we'll we'll open them up. I want to open it and play with it. Let's open them. I'm a, I'm a six foot four five year old dude. I think one of my favorite parts is like these ones. Even though they're like 3D printed, you get them in these little Ziploc bags so you can keep them together. Oh wait a second. Oh, that's cool. Yes. 
So, uh, do you do you just want to go straight through uh, what we have? Because we, um, yeah, and then we'll just do talk that. about them. All right. So I have here. I have. And what looks like three tiny crates. So uh, if you've looked at our review videos, I think I had a few of these in the first one, and I think you had a few of them in the second one. Um, they seem a I bit have... larger than the tiny crates, unless the tiny crates are even smaller. Yeah, no, these are the tiny crates. I, I think we have a couple that are smaller than that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, no, I think because these ones are the small crates that we have. Mm. So we have these small crates, which I have one of those. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's obvi it, there's a little bit of a size difference. And then like the next one I have, I have this large crate. And I mean, they're all printed the same. So it looks like they just increased the size of each one when they 3D printed it. So yeah. there is some uniformity to it. Um, I have, uh, this is cool. I have a double bed. So, I mean, say you're sneaking around or you're doing something like that for, for a mission. <laughs> and somebody's sleeping in the bed and you have to sneak around. You can actually put this bed there. I mean, and on top of that, it even comes with a little nightstand. So that's even cooler because it gives it a little bit more to the scene, you know? I mean, it's it's nicely done. It, it definitely looks 3D printed though. Like there's little waves in here and there and there's some edges that I definitely need to shave off, but I mean, there's a little bit of damage to it right here right. from the 3D print because it just didn't take. But it's not that big of a deal with that because you can see see the gap right there. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, there's a gap right there. It just it just didn't just didn't come together. But a little bit of glue if it starts to come apart, you know, a little bit of glue and it, and it fixes it right away. You know. That's easy. Uh, I also have. Uh, this here, which is a pillar, a two inch pillar native pattern. So it, it looks like there is a series of, uh, native American patterns that are, that are etched into here. There's some arrows and then, uh, looks like some like tribal, tribal patterns that are thrown on there. And that's pretty cool to have because I mean, it's a pillar. So if there's a singular pillar holding up a small room, or if you have plenty of these and you can stack them up next to each other, and if you have different ones, you can make them all a part of, uh, part of like, um, what is it? Uh, like a puzzle I, that was really hard to get out. <laughs> you can I, make them I all- I was waiting for it. Yeah, you can make them all part of a puzzle. So if you have four different ones, you can make each one a certain thing that they have to do. So- Remember I got that Egyptian one uh, last month and then previous to that, I also just have some standard plain ones, but you could easily just take them and dress them up with like some green, some green stuff or some Sculpey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like, I mean, you can use that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool to use. Um, so for my next one, and I think I see a pattern here because I think with the new book that just came out- There's, I, there's a, a heavy a, emphasis on boats. Yeah, there's a heavy emphasis on boats, which is cool because uh, in in our main in our main campaign that we're doing on Monday nights, the um, uh, the group is now on the water, so that's important to see because I can use these for the ship when if you know there's some encounters or whatnot or if they have to take them and put them on a lake, it's one of those things. You know if they have to carry it around, I can just scoot this around on the map. So that's cool to see. I mean, this is a two person one and you could fit three people in here, but you can see the two spots right in the center that they are these little five inch squares. So. Five inch? I mean, five inch. One inch squares. I'm thinking five feet because that's what it is in the game. These little one inch squares that they sit right in. <sighs> so that's cool. Uh, like, that's a little two he's, person he's robot. He's a DM folks. Hey, hey, I am low class DM. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. You're up, man. So I've also got a little two person rowboat. I, I love the detail on it. I love that it actually has little oar locks for it. The little handles on the side there that the oar to go through. That's awesome. I've got a large crate. Add, my, add to my collection of crates. I got another Egyptian uh, pillar, two inch pillar. That makes a second one for me. I like that is set. Helps my nice. OCD. Hey, uh, did you ever go to college? No. Did you party when you were younger? 
Yeah. <laughs> you ever do keg stands? Yeah. Here's a keg stand. <gasps> no way. And three kegs. <gasps> no way. This is cool. Oh man, that is that is so cool. And I mean, and that's that's awesome because it just gives you a little bit more to to the scene, especially when they're removable. Because they're like, I want to pick this up and throw it at the. <laughs> And whoever's coming at me. And you can, like, literally take it off the board. I, I'd like to throw the ruffian across the bar. Oh, no. <laughs> he smashes a keg. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That is that is pretty kick-ass. Yeah, that's probably one of the coolest things I've gotten out of that so far. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back to... We're going to go to our but booster um, box. So I'm going to open up mine. Did you, did you also get the guide to Ravnica booster pack? <gasps> yes, I did. And awesome. I see something big. I mean, there's one big in every booster no, box. No, this one's huge. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is cool. I can't wait. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm doing that last. All right, so um, I got an idea. Let's do Let's do our three small ones. I'll do my three small ones, you do your three small ones, and I'll go to my big and you go to your big. Okay. All right? Okay. So, um, put that out and take a quick look at these so that I know which ones I would like to show. And, okay, so I have a repeat of this one. But again, this is, this is all part of the booster packs, and I think this is like a common in the booster pack. So this here is the, um, the, uh, the Orzov uh, Ballistica, Ballistica Statue 21 of 55. So I got that, I think, in my first one. Basilica. Basilica. I'm pretty sure I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced it that on um, the first one, too. The exact same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's cool because you can use it as, you can use it as um, set dressing for a, uh, for a graveyard or even if they're going to be ambushed by those things. Uh, so my next one is a Simic Hybrid 10 of 55. You can definitely use this for, for a villain of some sort. I mean, it's one arm is like a crab claw and it looks like they're pretty armored up. So if you're doing like a water, a, a water thing, like we are doing that could be used for that. That's actually pretty cool. There are also several, uh, bad guys in the dungeon master's guide and the monster manual that like to perform experiments on other mortals. Yeah. Uh, particularly like beholders and mind flayers. Beholders really like to alter their minions to match their strange aesthetics. All right, and then I have my next one. And I think this guy's gotta be the one that's like the most expensive out of the box, out of like my single box. Ooh. So it is, a, uh, it is a Boros Reckoner and I mean, you want to talk about a big, bad, like level 10 to 55, uh, 10 to 15, 10 to 55, holy shit, 10 to 15, this is definitely one. Do I need to change our Tuesday night game to run a level 55? Yeah. Can so, yeah, I definitely think that this could be used as a big bad um, for level 10 to 15. So. Corrupted Paladin or yeah. Eldritch Knight? Yeah. Yeah, Fallen Paladin, that would be pretty cool. Yep. Elders Knight definitely, definitely could be used as that. And, I mean, he's... It's clearly a Minotaur. Yeah. But he, he, but he's... He looks different than the Minotaurs that I got in my previous box. You know? Yeah. So... And hell, I mean, if you want to give one of your players a pretty cool mini, boom, right there. You know? You're like, this could be you in the future. So... Yeah. Mind Drinker Vampire, 8 of 55. Cool guy. He's, uh, he's got the little transparent base, so he's clearly floating. He's got that nice hooked cloak with the uh, silver runic mantle. Pallid vampire skin, long bony fingers with claws. It looks like he has some sort of... You know, I think it's a belt buckle. Never mind. That looks like the same one I got from last week, uh, from last it, month. It might be. I don't recall. Yeah. Or it could have been one from the first one, because I know that I got two vampires. But 
That's yeah. pretty cool. Ravnica is pretty heavy on the vampires. Yeah. Yeah. I dig uh, it, man. I dig it. Azorius Arrester. Uh, possibly a paladin or a city guard. Nice big uh, warhammer. Seems to have some sort of coif over their head. Big pauldron, shining armor. Like I said, could be paladin, could be city guard. Yeah. This is interesting. This is a, a cackler, number 255. Almost reminds me of uh, that copyrighted game that has the, the various evil bosses. It's a lot of loot farming. Mm -hmm. mm, I can't say it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that, that kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, looks like looks like the, uh, the little mini pit follower that happens to you can you can get in the other copyrighted game by said company. I mean, I like I like the little uh, yeah. the little hook chain that they give them. Yeah, you could t you could take uh, you could take an imp or a um, a quasit and reflavor it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, a little ten foot reach with the hook there. That's cool. I'm not sure you'd have the strength to pull anything bigger than like a halfling or maybe a gnome, but uh, or maybe even he, pull he, himself he closer. Can, I was gonna say he could latch onto you and pull himself closer, yeah. and then just go to town with these hooks and mean maybe. claws. That probably has like a like a like a poisonous uh, sting on its tail. Yeah. Maybe add like a gore attack from its from its horns on its head. Could be. I wouldn't give it, based on the size. I wouldn't give it a whole lot of damage, but like that's. Yeah. I would say like two d six if if that, and that's and it all depends on yeah. the level of. The level yeah, of players totally that you on, have on the challenge rating. If we're talking, if we're talking about, if we're seriously talking about level one or level two characters, are you gonna throw that against? No, 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 kill him. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like, it could be, it could be somewhat of like a mid boss where it does like a D4 damage from the hook, and then like a D6 from the gore, but that's only if like it, it can pull itself like 20 feet or more. Yeah. So, and at that point, there's gonna be a lot of characters that are gonna rush in. And attack them. Yeah. So but I love I love the concept that it also probably has like the option to maybe multi tag like once with the claw and then once with this like stinger on its tail. Yeah. Give it like a like a depending on the level if it's first here give it like a DC thirteen or fourteen uh, con save to to not be envenomed. Yeah, and if it's low level, definitely DC eleven or twelve. You know. Oh, you're nice. Yeah. You're, well, you're, you want them to continue playing, <laughs> unless it's a one shot. Then you kill him. Mimics. Serio. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go to my big guy. So this is a Skyjack Rock. 31 of 55. This dude is huge. I mean, uh, he's got, he's got ch the, this chest armor. He even has a riding harness. He's got, uh, he's got a helmet. It's a bit thematically I mean, different than uh, your typical uh, Dungeons and Dragons rock. This is more griffin-like than it is gigantic bird. Yeah. With the tail here, it doesn't quite seem to be as large because, as I understand it, rocks have like a wingspan of like a hundred feet. Yeah. But uh, this is still an impressive, an impressive enemy to throw against them. But it could still. Or even an ally. I mean, you get a little expansion base for this guy. Oh yeah. And it's just it's it's, it's just for holder. visuals, yeah. you know? And you get a nice little like oh, twenty yeah. foot. A, I'm, a I'm 20 not critiquing foot. it. I just yeah. happened I'm just pointing no. at the difference. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying for like our viewers, if they if they were like, Oh, well what if I do if I get this and I want to throw an actual rock at him? Yeah, man. It's like hey. if you if you want it to re be represented on there, you just I mean, listen, at home I, I have a dragon miniature. It's supposed to be a green dragon, it's not currently painted. But it just it's a stand in for any dragon I have at the moment. Yeah. If I want to throw a black dragon against you guys, guess what you're gonna you're gonna see the green dragon. Yeah. Hey, the whole point of this game is imagination. Right. It works. Yeah, but he definitely looks pretty cool. I dig it. I love it. That's a nice one. Yeah. What's that uh Greek Odyssey where uh the dude escapes from uh, Hades and he's traveling on a boat and he comes across sirens on the rocks. Yeah. Is that Odyssey? Yeah. It was, it was, it was Odysseus I'm, and I yeah, the I'm pretty sure that movie was. was called Odyssey. No, no, it was it was, a, it was an actual tale. It might have been the Odyssey in an actual book before the movie. <laughs> God, in your. 
Leave a comment. If he's right, leave a comment. Give him a thumbs up for what he did. <laughs> Do you have any hot chocolates at the moment? Because I have <laughs> 10 bucks in my wallet. We have, we have eight bars still left. So I'm not eating it, though. I actually cannot. I'm not allowed to. Doctor's orders, actually. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I can't, I can't with you. Anyway, <laughs> so we have, uh, this is the Trostani Celestia Guildmaster, 44 or 55. It appears to be uh, three uh, Naga women, perhaps, or I don't know if they're like tree stumps and they're just spirits on the end of stumps. I'm not particularly up on uh, the Ravnica lore, but that could serve as sirens or a cabal of hags. Cabal, oh, yeah. Cabal, Cabal of hags. A little covenant. A coven of witches or hags. Yeah, and it's—I mean, you got three separate ones, and that's cool. Um, so overall, uh, it's a good value, uh, price-wise. I think that I definitely got a good value mm -hmm. on my booster box and. The, uh, the pre-painted miniatures that were handed over. Um, I definitely love the gladiator, the thug, the ghoul, the slimy fiend. Like, those are all really cool looking. The 3D print dressing, uh, the dungeon dressing, I, I like the variety. So seeing, seeing all the different types of crates that I have, the pillars, I mean, the bed I'm definitely, I definitely can use later on if, if, situ if that, but that's like situational. So, yeah. and then also the rowboat, which definitely situational because you need to be on the water for it. Um, from previous ones, I'd have to rate this. I'm going between four wild twenties and five, and like four and a half wild twenties. That's what I would say. So, if I was to rate it, <laughs> um, because of the amount that I got here, I'll give it four and a half. I'll give it four and a half wild twenties. That's okay. what, yeah, sure. I think that's what I'm going to do. I might be a bit favored tonight because I got some red paint that I needed. Uh, I'm also really happy that I got some cool set dressing. My, not a complaint, but my last couple uh, packages had only had like one or two pieces of set dressing, and I got this really awesome keg stand with three kegs. Uh, I'll call it uh, four and a half. Out of five? It. I got I got it, yeah. Well, I mean, out of four? No, out of, people could be thinking that we're, it's out of ten. I mean, you said out of five. I didn't say out of five. Didn't I said you? four or five. Uh, I backtrack. Out of 1,000, folks. Oh, oh man, yeah. you're really rough. <laughs> <laughs> no, out, out of five, I'll, I'll give it four and a half. I like to, I like to uh, complete my, or at least have more than one. I like to have pairs. I like even numbers of things. Uh I also have another Egyptian uh, pillar. I have this cool cake stand. I have more boats. I have more crates. I have more vampires. I have a little cool fiendish homebrew little... I, I have ideas for this thing. I actually, as we're sitting here talking, I have ideas for a whole new campaign, and that's not helping. <laughs> so if you like things in even, how do you like having three kegs on a keg stand? Uh, it's a complete set, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> It, it, it's a complete set. But, so, but again, just having one random Egyptian pillar, and like the, the one package I got, at the one package I got had had just three pillar, three plain pillars, and the next package I got had had the fourth pillar. I was happy to complete that because those three were just making me like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, you give it four and four a half. half. I give it four. I, I would say officially four and a half because I got a lot of cool stuff in yeah. here. So. Uh, helpful brush yeah so overall i mean it's a good box so if you guys want to check the boxes out and if you want to uh subscribe to magic mini man we have our links down below you guys get a discount if you use our links of course we get a discount too that's uh, I'll, I'll put that out front but if you use any one of our uh our links you'll get the discount, we'll get a discount, everybody gets a discount, and you guys get... You get a discount, and you get a discount, and you get a discount. <laughs> but that's only for the first month. Oh. So, uh, for the discount. But 
that's always good because I think it's uh, I think it's like five percent off or ten percent off, something was like it, that. Was it, was it percent or like five bucks? I think it's five bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might be five bucks. Even five bucks, that's really hey, cool. Man. You know, A- anything less. So uh, Which, if, again, this is still a totally reason, reasonable price to pay thirty five bucks to get on average fifty to fifty fifty five dollars worth of stuff, mm-hmm. worth of cool minis. To use in your various campaigns or games, they can be used for your tabletop wargaming games, either fantasy or uh, futuristic fantasy. They can be used for your your tabletop role playing game campaigns. There's place fillers, man. Hey, you, if if you're playing like a sci fi futuristic campaign game, there's not many minis out there for that. But I can totally use you know these as generic monsters because again, it's just a, it's a it's a place filler, it's a set filler that I'm using to describe something. Uh, by verbiage. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys want to, get in, uh, click the little subscribe button down there if you want to subscribe to 5D1 Gaming. We definitely have other games that we come out. One Shots. Uh, we have a weekly game that we run called The Wild Calling. Uh, if you want to click on the little bell to get notified whenever we load up these videos, usually we load them up around the beginning of the month, but again, like I said in the beginning of the video, there was some personal issues that held us from actually doing the recording. So, that's perfectly fine. You'll just get it in another week or two when we when we get our boxes then. So, I mean, you'll get back-to-back ones pretty quick. Yeah, I, I got the notice uh, last week that my, uh, my my next month's shipment has been, has been paid for. Yeah, So, I'll, I'll, I'll be getting September soon. They seem to come, uh, what, right before the month starts, or right at, right at yeah. the beginning of the month? So... I uh, expect another one within another two weeks or so, as long as everything works out okay and my kid doesn't wind up being sick and we don't go on vacations. My kid's going to wind up being sick. Everybody makes a joke about me having a million kids. I only have three, but and definitely it's a possibility they can get sick. <laughs> it is. But anyway, anyway, give we, us a we, thumbs up or give us a thumbs down. Just tell us what you feel about it by leaving a little comment. So from there, we're going to leave you with thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And isn't this man cute? Take a look at that bald head. Right there. Ah, like Fabio. That was really silky. (laughs) My hair? Yeah. Yeah, my hair is actually really soft. Yeah. But we'll do a video on that too. This is getting real creepy. (laughs) Thank God this is not a Twitch thing. They won't allow it. (laughs) Yeah, I know. (laughs) So we love you guys. We hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching the video. And just give us some love. Let us know what you feel about these like, videos. Subscribe and yep. share. And if you uh, if you're planning on subscribing to Magic Mini Man, leave a comment. Let us know what you what you guys thought. Oh, uh, from last month, no one no one commented on the previous video uh, where we offered up the dice and dice bag. So we're going to keep it up there. Uh, anybody who might want to put in for that, we're more than happy to send it out to whoever, wherever, whatever. Yep. I think at this point it's like the first person to comment. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. So, hope you guys have a wonderful night, a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon, whenever you're watching us. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you. See you guys later. Good night. <laughs>